What's up, what's up? If you're watching live right now, you're probably a lot like me and like to see what's happening the moment something is being announced. Thanks so much for joining us today while we share exciting new improvements to your workflow. I think one of the things I love most about what I get to do is being able to share what we are working on and then seeing your reaction in the comments. I also, I really love seeing the neat ideas that we might have never intended for a feature, but y'all always go above and beyond with your creativity. This last week, someone posted in the group about some hardware they were actually putting together, building, making themselves to be able to send MIDI cues over ethernet to then tell a projector or screen to turn on or off. That's something I never personally would have even thought to do with MIDI in ProPresenter, but it's super cool as a solution. Today, of course, we have new things to share with you. Sometimes when we have released updates, there's been maybe one big feature that impacts multiple people and a few smaller ones too. Today, I think that we are going to talk about really something, maybe multiple things that like affect a large variety of organizations and people. We have users from all sorts of backgrounds, technological abilities, needs, and desires. I have a feeling for all of our users, at least one of the features or improvements we've made will be helpful. As we go along, of course, feel free to comment and let us know what you're thinking about each of these. But also when I'm done sharing, make sure to let us know which improvements or features are going to make the biggest impact for you personally. So when I was growing up, I attended a church um, where oftentimes we do what is called a call and response. The pastor or someone on stage would say a statement or a sentence, and then the congregation would say a different statement. Um, we know it can be valuable for in these instances like this to have different formatting across your different lines of text. Whether it be making a certain sentence bold, underlining a word, or even changing the color. Now in ProPresenter, custom attributes remain across themes. Another way to put that is that you can now maintain text attributes across multiple out outputs. Special attributes like underline and highlight, as well as object or text builds, now stay maintained as intended when applied with a theme, or used in an alternate theme. Edit text how you'd like to emphasize it, and the text will stay that way for your audience, regardless of whether it's going through a lower third theme or a different audience look or screen output. Here's a quick look at a video I made showing how this works. You'll see here on this slide that I have a call and a response. I have some text in white, as well as some text that's in a different color, a different font, and it's even underlined. On the slide, I'm using bullets and they're building in one after the next. So when I click on the slide, it'll actually um, build one line in and then I click it on again and it'll build the next line in. So when I trigger this slide, those text attributes will show here on my main screen, as well as in my lower third here going to my live stream. And as I build in and click through the slide, it will build in my bullets on both my, my in-person main screen as well as my live stream output. This not only works for text attributes, but it also works for building in shapes, text, and other slide objects one at a time across your different outputs. All right, next let's talk about custom clear groups. While macros are a great way to customize making multiple actions take place at once, like clearing specific layers and displaying a specific piece of media, like an animated logo, we know there is a ton of value in being able to use the clear section in the preview window to quickly access clearing a specific layer. Previously in ProPresenter, when live streaming or using the announcements layer, clear all would clear layers that you might prefer to stay live. Now with custom clear groups, you can clear as many or few layers as you'd like. Your volunteers and staff operators now have control over which group of layers they are clearing. When you open ProPresenter 7 for the first time, you'll notice a slight visual change here. By default, ProPresenter will come with one pre-created clear group. It clears all layers and is shown here with the X. 
Now I can right click this, go to configure clear groups and create my own custom groups. For this example, let's go ahead and leave the default clear all group here. Though if you'd like, you could remove it. I'll add a new group and I'll call it all except video input. Uh, at my church, we stream from ProPresenter and I'd like a button that, that we'll always use so that our video input layer never gets cleared. I can choose an icon or even import my own. Um, now let's do this cool sunglasses one and we'll give it a, a tint color for fun too. Now I'll go through and enable every layer I want to clear and leave the video input layer blank. Let's create one more clear group here and I'll name it all except announcements. We'll select every layer except the announcements layer. This is the perfect clear group now for if we've got digital signage coming out of ProPresenter into our lobby. We'll never want to clear that while clearing layers for the audience in the auditorium. You can clear as many or few layers as you'd like, so you don't only have to clear just one layer. Maybe you want to always leave your props, announcements, and video input layers active, and you certainly can. Up to five clear groups will now show next to the preview window. However, you can create as many groups as you need, and they can be triggered from a keyboard shortcut. Speaking of keyboard shortcuts, we've got a brand new feature called key mappings, which makes it possible to create your own shortcuts. Custom key mappings let you add keyboard shortcuts for accessing your favorite features. Designate key combinations to access different props, macros, clear groups, menu items, and more. You can even change up previous hotkey assignments you used to trigger specific groups of slides for new key mappings. I can see myself triggering a prop from a keyboard shortcut fairly often, so let's go ahead and set up my key mapping. Down at the bottom of the show filter here, we've got our props. I'll double click this one and type whatever key combination I wanna use. I'll try Command and P. Okay, see over here on the right side how there is this warning icon? It's because Command P is already in use to trigger some other function. If I click on that warning icon, it'll show me what, um, what conflicting mapping I have. And I can always go through here and reassign a new mapping. Let's do Shift Command P and I'll close out of this window. When I hit Shift Command P now, my prop is showing on my screen. This is convenient as now I don't need to go to my prop show control to trigger that prop. I could do it as needed with my new key mapping. There are so many different features and functions within ProPresenter that can now be mapped to key combinations. With this new level of customization, I can't wait to see how it speeds up your workflow. Now in many organizations, being able to quickly find the right presentation file to add to a playlist is very important. Maybe you're in an environment where spontaneous worship is common, or you could just be like the majority of us production people who just don't get a set list until the last minute. Many of us have probably been there at some point. Now, you can preview your search results faster and like never before. ProPresenter's local library search now includes a preview of your text and your content. Switch between text or thumbnail view to see exactly which presentation you're looking for. We've even included a new button on the search results to quickly add a presentation to a selected playlist. Now, when you're in one of those moments where the band leader goes off script, you can quickly search your results, see the preview to make sure you're selecting the right presentation, and then add it right to your playlist. For a really fast and accurate experience, you can even stay on your keyboard the whole time and never have to use a mouse. The worship leader starts singing a song I don't know. I can use Command F to open search, type in some recent lyrics, arrow down to the results and quickly preview them. And lastly, use the default keyboard shortcut of Command Return to add that to my playlist. In just a matter of a few seconds, I can search for the song, preview it, and trigger it from my current playlist. The final experience improvement that I'd love to highlight today is really focused on using Planning Center for collaboration. Previously, in ProPresenter, a Planning Center playlist was limited to Planning Center plan items and ProPresenter lyric files. You could, of course, locally drag in a presentation or video to a planning center item. 
However, we heard from you that many times you found yourself converting the Playing Center playlist to a Pro Presenter playlist to get around some of the limitations. Improvements to Playing Center workflow will now make show setup fast and functional for you. Create placeholders within playlists for future presentation documents. View all of your attachments from your plans on Playing Center, not just the Pro Presenter documents, so that you can now download and attach to any presentation hide unneeded plan items, add your own presentations, add audio directly to an audio playlist from attachments, and of course more. Let me show you what this looks like. We'll start by looking at my church's planning center setup for next week. This is planning center's website. You'll see on the left side who is scheduled to serve and in which roles. And then down at the bottom of the list, there is an area where if you wanna add specific files to the plan for people to see, you can or even now, just for use within ProPresenter. Then here in the middle, we've got our whole service planned out. See at the top, I have some instructional info for people who are volunteering. I have an item for announcements loop and ProPresenter music to play, be playing. And below that, you'll find the rest of our service flow, including songs and other items. See, I can be at home setting up my whole service for an upcoming week. I can add in some attachments, like here you see a video attached to our intro video or even attach a sermon or presentation that is made on someone else's computer. So now if I go back to ProPresenter, I can add in this week's Planning Center playlist. Once that's loaded, you'll see all the headers and plan items. As long as Match in Library is selected in your ProPresenter service settings, it will automatically search for and select a presentation to attach to an item if it has the same name. I already had Awake My Soul in my library, so ProPresenter correctly attached that to this item for me. Since all these items here at the top are just for planning purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and hide them, as my Pro Operator probably doesn't need to see those. Next, I want to attach that video file that I had on Planning Center to this item and download it. So I'll click on the Attachments button here for this item. ProPresenter automatically shows me the appropriate attachment I can now drag that onto the item to download it. If I have a song that is neither in my library or attached to Planning Center, I can click the search button here to have ProPresenter automatically search that song name in Song Select for me. I can even use this General Attachments Manager here to drag and drop attachments whenever I need them in ProPresenter, including in an audio or media playlist. Plus, I can also add a placeholder item to this playlist if I need to add something that wasn't originally even on my Planning Center plan in the first place. All right, I've shown you how to manually download attachments to attach documents in ProPresenter to an item. But what if you want this to happen automatically? So instead of you doing the work, ProPresenter syncs it down and even syncs changes you make back up to Planning Center automatically. Well, in Preferences and then under Service, you can actually enable download and upload presentations and media automatically. Now when I import my playlist, you'll see ProPresenter begin to automatically pull in the correct content from Planning Center and download it. The video that I attached to the Planning Center item earlier has now automatically downloaded here to the item in ProPresenter and a lyrics file I had attached to the song Prepare the Way has also automatically downloaded and attached itself to the correct song. With Planning Center, collaboration is easier than ever. Today's event was really full of workflow improvements. So I'm curious, which one do you think you'll make use of most? We've added in more customization for controlling um, the ProPresenter interface and for running your show. Made it easier to quickly preview and execute a search. Provided a way to display and maintain custom text attributes across alternate themes and even introduced improvements to Planning Center that make collaboration possible like never before. This update will be available soon as a beta for you to get your hands on and a test out. And the final public release will also be available for everyone who has ProPresenter Plus as of today. I hope you enjoyed learning about what we've been working on and can't wait to see how these improvements allow you to share the greatest stories ever told. Mm -hmm.